Greetings all and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Today we're taking a look at a comparison between the Trimui Smart Pro and the PowerKitty RGB10 Max 3. Both of these devices are available for roughly $50 on AliExpress and have very similar performance. So I'm sure this has left many people a bit undecided. I will admit that after doing the research for this video, I'm in very much the same spot. But there are some noticeable differences on these devices that would make the one more preferable than the other depending on what you like. Before we get to that, please note that the facts in this video is based off of extensive research and it is not a hands-on experience. I do believe that you can still find some value from it though, as the video is basically jam-packed with facts from multiple different viewpoints, so you get a good overview of a device. So remember to like and subscribe and share as it truly helps the channel out. So with that out of the way, let's dive in and take a look at the specs. Both of these devices share very similar internals, so I'm not going to go too in-depth here but feel free to pause the video and look through it on your own time. The Max 3 gets in the lead right out of the gate due to the fact that it has the ability to output its display over the mini HDMI port. The Smart Pro does not have this option unfortunately. You will need a mini HDMI to HDMI adapter or cable to do this. I will leave a link to some options in this regard in the description below. The Smart Pro counters with an advantage in battery life due to its 5000 mAh battery. The Max 3 only has a 4000 mAh battery. Consequently, reviewers seem to agree that the Smart Pro gets about 4 to 6 hours of gameplay, where the Max 3 gets roughly 3 to 4 hours, depending on what you're playing. Another plus for the Smart Pro is that it has more updated or currently supported firmware, whereas the Max 3 runs Jell OS, for which development has currently ceased. You can install custom firmware called Rocknex, but that is the only alternative available as far as I'm aware. With the Smart Pro, you have the option to install Tomato OS, Nuli, or the more recent Crossmix OS, each of which comes with quite a few additional features compared to the stock firmware. Other than the above mentioned, the screens, RAM, and Wi Fi connection speeds are extremely similar, if not identical. The units have different processors, but both run at roughly the same speed and get similar performance. But we'll cover that a bit more later. Let's look at ergonomics and design first. When it comes to the physical design, both devices have their own unique appeal. The Trimui Smart Pro boasts a sleek, compact form factor with a comfortable grip and well positioned controls. This aspect makes it slightly more pocketable than the Max. The button layout is thoughtfully arranged, apparently, with a clicky Xbox style feel to the face buttons. However, the trigger buttons on the Smart Pro have been criticized for being too small and difficult to press, and the analog sticks have apparently not impressed reviewers due to their inset design and limited range of motion. Max 3, on the other hand, features a more traditional handheld design with ergonomic grips on the back. Its D pad and buttons feel satisfactory, but the D pad can be prone to false diagonals. This could be a problem in games like Contra or Sunset Riders, but in fighters like Street Fighter, it's usually a plus. The analog sticks on the Max 3 provide a good range of motion and, in general, seems to be better than those on the Smart Pro, but they may not quite reach 100% in all directions initially. Apparently, you will need to adjust the sensitivity in the settings to correct this. In terms of emulation performance, both the Pro and the Max 3 can play everything up to PS1 without a problem. The Pro is capable of running N64, Dreamcast, and even PSP games. Though some heavier titles like Cruising USA may need some tweaking in the settings, and even then may not perform optimally. May just be me, but the Max 3 on the other hand seems to handle some of these more advanced systems slightly better. But it depends on the game. When I google benchmarks for these two CPUs, the RK3566 in the Max 3 seems to have a slight edge, but this is not really supported by the experience of hands-on reviewers. I will leave some links of gameplay videos in the description below that you can check out to assess this aspect in more detail if you want to. Considering all the before mentioned, I wouldn't blame you if you're still unsure of which one to choose. So here's a quick recap of the pros and cons on these units to help you gain clarity. The Trimui Smart Pro has a sleeker, more pocketable design. Its nostalgic PS Vita-like look will probably be a hit with many. It has multiple firmware options as well, like Tomato OS, Nuli, and Crossmix OS, and it does have better firmware support. On the downside, the trigger buttons are too small and difficult to press. The analog sticks are subpar with minimal range of motion, and it doesn't have any display output. The PowerKitty RGB10 Max 3, on the other hand, has a more ergonomic design with built-in grips. It has slightly better trigger buttons and it has display output via HDMI. On the downside, the D-pad is prone to false diagonals, which may impact certain games. It has no ongoing firmware support, 
and it has limited customer firmware options. And lastly, battery life is on the shorter side, so it averages about 4 hours of gameplay. My conclusion then is that these devices are so similar that the decision will probably come down to your specific needs and preferences. I must say that even though I don't own one, I'm a fan of the Trimui Smart Pro. But the Max 3 has me doubting whether I would choose the Pro when comparing these. Their pricing and value offers are just so similar, and the ergonomics and display output capability on the Max 3 makes me think that it might be the better option. Let me know in the comments which one you would choose and why. I'd love to get some discussion going on this as it usually gives me some viewpoints that I didn't consider. If you want some more details on the Smart Pro, you can click on the link on screen now to check out my video on it. For a good hands-on review of the RGB 10 Max 3, Bo over at Bonos Gaming did a video that I will leave a link to if you want to take a look. That's it for this one though. Have a nice day and I'll catch you in the next tech update.